Uh, my name's Sonny Brack and I work for BUDS, Better Understanding for Dementia in Sandwell. BUDS is a charity that primarily what we do is we have service users um, with various forms of dementia. Um, we were set up in 2008, it's an ongoing thing. Uh, with the majority of people we have now, we do carer support as well. The carers are the forgotten ones with dementia. Um, and what we do is we offer family support as well as um, the people with the condition. BUDS has evolved over the, you know, since 2008 from a small charity with a handful of people to at the moment now we've probably got 70 volunteers thereabouts, um, 10 staff, three full time. Um, the rest are part-time, and I think that's just down to the monetary aspect of it. My journey is slightly different. My, my father had Parkinson's and dementia. Um, I'm the youngest of six. Um, no one told me that there was issues, so I've grown up with the mental health issue. Um, so it's kind of moulded me as a person. Um, uh, until I was 16 or so, then I actually, you know, had the information regarding why he kept being taken away and stuff. Um, 2009, my mum had a mini stroke. She had various health conditions, but she had a mini stroke and she reverted back to speaking her native tongue. She was originally from Uganda and they speak Swahili. We were in hospital, I'm trying to speak to her and she's holding a conversation with me. Um, an African nurse came past stopped in her tracks because she'd heard a language she hadn't, you know, doesn't speak regularly, held a conversation and explained to me that my mum thinks she's in Uganda and she's got to get the things ready for the farmhands because she's got to get my dad's things ready. A mm -hmm. um, couple of weeks, weeks later, she passed away. Um, and it kind of threw me. Obviously, you know, your parent not being able to converse with you. So I ended up finding the route here. I actually came as a volunteer. And I've progressed through the service to now be full-time salaried volunteer manager. My day-to-day -day role would be managing 70 volunteers, uh, dealing with um, obviously their issues or problems, personal issues or problems as well, because with volunteers, you know, they're unpaid, they're here to do, you know, help out. Um, so what we try and do is facilitate as much as we can to help them. Um, continuing our service. Uh, my day-to-day -day role, I go and do um, befriending introductions. Obviously, if I know all the volunteers, um, I get to know the families and the clients, and I kind of run a befriending service where I match people like for like. So it's not as clear-cut. Um, I could spend four, five, six hours over a week trying to put something in place. Um, I have the luxury, I'm not time-restricted. So the befriending role is putting a volunteer who's um, had the DBS certificate and we can then match them with a family. So they do family support. They support the client for maybe two or three hours in a session, which frees up the main carer to do the things they need to do and they can trust the person that's, who's there to look after their loved one. Very simple concept um, and it works. If you, your processes are right and you have the right kind of um, people on board. So a lot of my role is talking <laughs> all day, every day for, you know, 12 hours a day. It's kind of, I have to ignite a fire under people so they want to help. So it's a varied role. I mean, I deal with external sources. I do things at the hospitals. I would do things, um, at the moment, we're trying to do things with the work programme. I'm trying to get people involved um, you know, it's well documented. Within the next five to ten years, you can have like a million people with a diagnosis. And if you've not got the people on board now, you know, we're never going to we're never going to hit the point where we have enough people on board and helping. So being in an organisation like this from the volunteer role for me was fantastic because it was something that I wanted to do. So it was quite easy for me to be involved. Um, so yeah, I mean, I quite enjoy what I do. I didn't come here for a job. It was purely to fill a bit of time. Um, I'd work in logistics before that for five years. I had an accident at work. I was off work for five years. My mum deteriorated. Um, 
you know, we've hit points in our life where we feel quite low. Um, I'm a local lad, born and grew around here. My house is three minutes that way, <laughs> walking. So it's been ideal for me because the volunteering has kind of opened up various avenues for me. But if I didn't take the initiative to start volunteering, I wouldn't be a salaried person, you know, two years later. Um, you know, it's a bit of a success story from my perspective, if I'm honest, because I've come into something I didn't know anything about. I've had life experience of, you know, the condition. Um, and I quite like people. So I think I fit quite well with what I do because it doesn't take effort for me to come to work. The future for Buds, hopefully, is for us to continue growing. I mean, at the moment, we're Sandwall based because that's where the lottery fund was tied to, and that's where the name comes from, Buds from Sandwell. Ideally, I mean, my perspective would be for the future of Buds is, is, if, is if this model works, potentially you could roll this model out nationally. So it'd be quite good for us as an organisation to show people what we do and this kind of holistic approach we have regarding looking after people, um, it works. So, you know, the future, if we can, without growing where we are, we have various centres across Sandwell, but if we're honest, we have outgrown it. It's, it's grown very, very quickly. Um, the future for Buds, it does look bright. We need funding. I mean, we need to get the money in so we can continue the service. Um, but we've got people working on that, so we can't, from my perspective, I can't, I would never look at what happens behind the scenes. It's purely 100% focused on what we do, growing the service. Um, we're being inundated by families, you know, and clients who need help. There's nothing else in Sandwell apart from us. Um, Birmingham are quite limited as well. So, you know, if they start extending borders as they're doing at the moment, because we've incorporated Great Bar now, um, we will progressively move out and reach as many people as we can because what we do comes from the heart.